Hey, welcome back to Toy Boys. Hello. And we have a rather cute little visitor with us today. This gentleman here, Jack. What the fuck's this, man? Why are you bringing this to me? Well, well, this this bear carries a dark secret. Okay. Do you, do you want to see? Um. Do you want to see his dark secret? <laughs> we will see his dark secret, but let, 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 let me ease into it. So I'm just gonna. Not see because he's a little blue bear with little yellow shorts. Yep. And he looks. Um, he's got a little tail. My own little tail. He looks particularly cute. Like so, and I'll be honest. He look, reminds me of very sort of late eighties, early nineties. Yep. Children's toys. Have you nineteen eighty three? No. Okay, that's, yeah, that's uh, earlier than I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And sort of it reminds me of um, sort of uh, old ads that I used to have on VHS that were recorded on TV. Mm -hmm. Of like uh, those sort of weird soft focus like girls toys ads, you know, and there'd be some sort of jingle. Yeah. But like little blue bear motherfucker <laughs> Have some fun with him. Running about <laughs> all over the place. Yeah, being a little bear. Oh you my god. Should buy all of his friends. Yeah. And then maybe your father will love you. <laughs> I don't know. That's okay. Daddy gives you a new bear every time. <laughs> We got some dark places <laughs> on the show, man. Anyway, not as dark as this fucking bear. Yeah, oh god. Come on, man. Okay. Whip so, it out. Whip it out. So, so talk, talk. Okay, right. yeah. So um, um, meal is dark secret. So th th this is uh, a kind of weird toy because it does call to a certain sort of strange dark idea. I think it, it definitely it's the, the crossover from the soft focus girls toys sort of ad that we were talking about. We're going to go over to what gets advertised to the boys. Which um, tends to be things that are gruesome and usually darker, and usually have a sort of more dark sense of humour, which I think is kind of the point for this. Is that's the name? It's adulterating care. Oh yes. God! <laughs> it's a werebear. It's a fucking werebear, it's man. It's a werebear. So yeah, exactly as you said, this is um, an attempt to market. Uh, teddy bears to boys. Yeah. And for a while, I think it worked. You know, I mean, these were these were pretty popular. I mean, they weren't cheap. I mean, um, I, I actually did some research for this, yeah. which involved looking at the advert on uh, <laughs> YouTube, uh, which knowing your head and saying, we'll be cutting to any second there. So, so um... Surprise, some people can't believe their eyes. Think up scary things to do. Who's gonna know that it was you? You rabbit from Hornby. Yeah, uh, so, the, yeah, they, they were like. They were like 16 99 Really? Yeah, like 1983 no, as well. It's just like. Jesus, man. I remember thinking, like, you know, like, oh, no wonder it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I mean, they are kind of a miracle of, like, stitching that they can actually. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so you didn't get to see this, but their, their heads basically turn inside out to do that. You see? Yeah. But the ears yes. are the same ears each time. There's like a hole that they pull through. So, so it's, it's kind of like it's kind of like it wears its face as a hood. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so let's see how much I can remember about the, about what I read about this. So this is, I think, Howler. Okay. I think. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Um, and he's leader of the Werebears. The Werebears were created by uh, this in story, not actually. Oh, right. Okay, right. So, so, yeah. so in the story, they were created by Egon Baconberger. <laughs> I imagine that's the joke is supposed to be Egon Baconberger, but it's it's Egon. It's the same oh, the spelling as Ghostbusters. Okay, anyway, so. right. Yeah. So. Um, they created in, I want to say Bavaria or somewhere, somewhere like that, like that. Like um, bad area. Some, something like that. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Some, yeah, some kind of like uh, country like that. Um, and they escape or run away for some reason right. into the woods. Okay. And that's about it. Okay. So I'm just talking, that's all you get really, I mean. Weirdly, there wasn't a cartoon to go with this. I think there was um, a comic, at right? Least, at least in the UK. Okay. That kind of explained the backstory and things. Hey, Harrison here, reporting from uh, Regent's Park, 
out here in London and um, just wanted to say, even though uh, the Where Bears didn't have a TV show, uh, yes they did have comics, they also had audio cassettes. A uh, cassette came with every toy, with a story read by I shit you not, Oliver Postgate. Yeah, the Bagpuss guy. When there's a full moon, a strange thing happens to those four teddy bears in the shop window. They get an itching in their paws as their nails start to grow long and black. And a twitching in their ears as they grow long and pointed. And a twitching in their noses as their faces become wolf-like and horrible. There's a link in the description below that will take you to a website where a guy has uploaded all of those audio cassettes and you can listen to every story for every bear. Alright, go and have a listen there. Fun. Um, so the initial run had um, four werebears. Um, I can't remember the names. I remember one was called Gums because he didn't have any fangs. Oh, right, okay. Which I always felt was a bit of a jip, to be honest. Kind of like, <laughs> if, you, if you buy a werebear, you want the fucking teeth, you know, like Jesus. Um, uh, a few years later, I think in 1985, they released the Terror Teds, which were like the, the villainous. All right. The villains for the Werbers to fight. Something's happened to Werberland. An evil witch has got out of hand. With Snapper, Chomp, Grunt, and Munch. They're the evil Terror Bunch. Let it be Werber of the Terror Ted Bear. Terror Teds is what they should have called the Werbers. Because Werber doesn't really mean anything. Because Wer means human, doesn't it? So a werebear would be like a human that turns into a bear, yeah. rather than a bear that turns into something like, that... Like a more feral bear. <laughs> yeah. So terror would like... I guess, I guess the way around it is just to get the idea that they transform. Yeah, I mean that's the, you know, in popular culture where kind of just means transformative now, doesn't it really? But yeah, but yeah it's, it's you know, werebear literally means human bear, so, so that's that franchise is ruined. We'll just sort of show you, because we didn't show you before, so as you, you probably noticed me folding his hands inward, Mm -hmm. And then you fold them back out as sort of little little gloves. You fold out and it comes out with claws stitched on. And as you saw Jackson do, just do the rest of the bed, a whole head pops out. And it is it is quite impressive mm -hmm. how this looks really solid and it looks really big and the fact that it all folds in. Yeah, it's clever. And it's convincing as well I think is the thing like you don't see it immediately and go oh there's something else going on it's a bit like the popple technology done right the what um you ever see popples no they were like these little fluffy toys um and they had that similar kind of thing where you turn them inside out inside the software balls and meet new friends see pop goes the popple it was kind of like, like they don't really do anything, they don't like transform into anything. <laughs> they're just like, you can turn it inside out and that's inside out. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> you know, so it was kind of yeah. like, it was like that kind of like, someone had the pop on <laughs> and then someone kind of took the idea and was like, yeah, but like, let's make it do something as well <laughs> with this. I love the fact that you managed to get hold of this one. You said he was the leader. Because yeah. he's like, he's the epitome of what a werebear should be. Mm. Right? It's the best example we I'm could get. I'm pretty sure he's called Howard because I'm, I'm like, when they released the tarot heads a few years later, they made one with a voice box in it that made like the kind of Ow! Oh, okay. Oh. Ow noise. But they'd already used the name Howler and they must have been kicking themselves because <laughs> they had to call it like Growly or something. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> we flew too close to the sun. <laughs> we peaked too early with naming the blue one Howler. Indeedless, your child is falling. Yeah. Um, uh, they were, I forgot to mention, they were made by Hornby as well, weirdly. Oh, right. Like Hornby of, like, the trains? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, um, that is weird, I don't remember hearing about Hornby making toys. But yeah, um, shit's on your fucking bill the bear, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, you know, like so massively. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything, I can't really remember any other toys that were like this. Like you said, you mentioned the poppers. Or popples. Popples, yeah. Um, I'm sure there were a few, like, like, they tended to be girls' toys that did this. I think mm. that's that's why they were, they, they must have kind of been looking at girls' toys when they were trying to say how do we market this to boys and yeah, some state the obvious and like, let's just have it be violent and scary. It's <laughs> <laughs> like you do it, and it, like, it, it was yeah. either that or make them disgusting, like make a bear that shits its pants or something. Yeah, I mean, like it's always been the the, the dichotomy of the children's marketing, but like. Like, um, you can see those, those toys aren't really toys, they're like a kit to make something. 
Yeah. And like, there's there's always like the girls' version, which is like you know, make bracelets, or you know, and you can add on your sticky stars or whatever. Mm. And like the boys' one was like make insects out of like jelly. Yeah. And you know, sort of like oh, this dunk stuff on this guy's brain, and then his eyes was out through his nose and. Yeah, I'm just never, I never appealed to me as a kid. As a kid or like. Yeah, I, they didn't much to me. I was just overly sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so just if you make it grim, lads will buy it. I, yeah, I, don't I, I, yeah, I have to admit, I really wanted one of these when I was a kid, but um, I totally understand that 1699. <laughs> why I didn't get one? In 1983. I mean, yeah. And the Howling one, when that came out, the, the one that made the noise, yeah. that was, I'm sure that was like 30 quid, that was like ridiculous. <laughs> taking the piss on, but you're like, no wonder no one had one. But I, uh, I paid 50p for this, at a car boot sale. <laughs> and the only reason I found it was because I saw him a mile off because he was, he was like that. <laughs> like, you know, like lying in the, in the box, and I was like, oh, holy shit, it's a web there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, you can very easily get stuck halfway, yeah. and you've just got like this this head with an extra set of teeth. I mean, you kind of the neck. It takes a little bit of fine tuning, otherwise they kind of have this weird kind of tumory type look at the back. <laughs> well, Mr. Bear, I'm afraid the tuner is revealed. Uh, it's got a nose, <laughs> and eyes, and it, it's taking over your head, Mr. Bear. We we, we can't stop it. We don't know what we can. No. <laughs> Nah, 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 that, that, that's a very Hulk-like story. It, yeah, it was. Yeah. It was kind of. Um, it makes me wish there'd been a cartoon. Really. What was to see little teddy bears, like you know, imagine gummy bears if they were, like you know every time. <laughs> it was a stressful situation. They're like, calm down, calm. Down. <laughs> 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 Started tearing face. How good would that have been? I'd have watched that. The Good Bear Kingdom just like just covered in blood. Yeah, like. yeah. <laughs> That like night guy, like, <laughs> he thought he was t- tough shit. <laughs> Actually, um, I did find a website where um, I think it was werebears.com, and I don't know if this is like official or not, but there's definitely um, some CGI werebear intro stuff going on. Mm-hmm. I don't know exactly what it is, if they're, like, this is, they're trying to reboot it or right. it's just a fan thing, but yeah, if you, if you, if you Google werebears, you'll find it. Um, yeah, the, these in CJ, I have to say, are pretty terrifying. Mm. No, no, no. It's kind of like, mm, yeah, I don't know if you could market that to kids. That's a bit, that's a, that's a bit much. No, like, <laughs> these things look at you. That's weird. It's kind of like the level of, like, you know, internet screamer type video, you know? Like, oh, like, right, you know, yeah. But, yeah, it's because they start off, like, all nice, and then they actually go full on CG where, <laughs> where they're there, and it's like, oh, God. God, what was that horror movie? Um, I never got to watch it because I was way too young. But then we used to have comics with ads for it in, and it was like some sort of killer toys comic movie, rather. And like you had a Jack in the Box that like was a clown with big sort of grizzly fang teeth. Was it demonic toys? Was it? Might have been demonic toys, yeah. Because that was a comic, but I don't know if it was a movie. Oh, oh, maybe I'm confused. Maybe, maybe I thought it was a movie. I could be wrong. wrong. Oh, right, no. That it was definitely a comic. I know that much. It was definitely a comic. Right? And it was hardcore as well, like people got fucked up in that. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, because I remember something of like. Like there was a bear in that that just like, like you know, shredded people. Yeah. It was, it was, it was completely <laughs> visceral. Alright. Mm. And on that note. <laughs>